Welcome back to High Stakes. Elevate your betting game by hitting that subscribe button and ensure you never miss out on our daily content. Want exclusive access to premium betting picks? Join our Patreon. Links are waiting for you in the comment section below. Stay ahead of the game with High Stakes. South Florida, USF versus Charleston. The line has shifted to favor Charleston by minus 2.5, up from an opening of minus 1.5. Charleston has been strong at home over recent seasons, but did experience some setbacks last year, including losses to Towson and UNC Wilmington. Meanwhile, USF ended last season on a high note in away games, winning four of their last five true road matchups, and they come into this game hungry for their first win of the season. USF looked promising against Florida, aside from a brief lapse late in the first half that allowed Florida to close the gap. This time, They'll look to stay consistent against Charleston, who scored 90 points in their opener, but allowed 80 to SIU. USF's offense is quick and aggressive, and Charleston may struggle to contain 6 feet 11 inches Jamil Reynolds, who scored 17 points against Florida. USF also has a strong defensive edge, ranking 45th nationally in limiting opponents to a 31.5% three-point rate, holding Florida to just 5 of 25, 20%. Charleston leans on the three-point shot, which could be an issue here. Take the points with USF as live underdogs. Pick USF Bulls plus 2.5 points. Prediction, USF Bulls to win. The 155-point total seems low for two high-scoring teams like USF and Charleston, both of which like to push the pace. Charleston ranked 50th in pace last season with 70.3 possessions per game, and both teams surpassed 80 points in their openers, with Charleston reaching 90. Both teams' offensive firepower comes at the expense of defense, as Charleston allowed SIU to score 80, and USF gave up 90 to Florida. These high-scoring trends align with last season, where USF averaged 75.8 points per game and Charleston averaged over 80. Expect a fast-paced, high-scoring game pick. Over 155 points. Davidson versus Bowling Green. The Davidson Wildcats are clearly positioned as the stronger team here, facing a Bowling Green Falcons squad that's struggling. Davidson showed solid shooting in their opener, though it was against weaker competition. They aggressively attacked the basket, getting to the free throw line 17 times, and while they went only 5 of 20 from beyond the arc, it seemed like an off night for their shooters, which should improve. With Davidson as 4.5 point favorites on the road, it's clear their roster is superior. The Wildcats' defense should tighten up, and Bowling Green's offense is likely to face difficulties. Pick Davidson Wildcats minus 4.5 points. Prediction Davidson Wildcats to cover the spread. Offensively, both teams may struggle to find rhythm in this game. Although they combined for 156 points in their openers, it's worth noting Davidson wasn't facing Division I competition, so expecting high shooting efficiency may be overly optimistic. Davidson only recorded eight turnovers in their opener, which is unlikely to be that low again. Overall, it's a safer play to take the under, as scoring consistency may be an issue for both teams. Pick under 148.5 points. Murray State versus Pittsburgh. I'm backing Murray State to cover the spread on the road against Pitt this Friday night. Both teams are coming off dominant wins against lesser competition, building up some early momentum. Murray State is a big underdog here, but they're being underrated after a tough season last year and a strong set of transfer additions like Keelan Milton and Terrence Arkham, who have bolstered their roster significantly. While Pitt has potential and could take another step forward this season, especially with Jalen Lowe's progress, they're not likely to completely dominate this matchup. Look for Murray State to keep things competitive, even if Pitt ultimately takes the win. Prediction, Murray State to cover the spread. For the total, I'm leaning toward the over in this game. Both teams put up high scores in their openers, totaling 209 points between them. Murray State's new transfers add scoring depth with players like Milton and Harkham contributing effectively in their first game. Meanwhile, Pitt's offense looks strong as well, with Lowe stepping up as a key scorer. Given these factors, we should see plenty of points, making the over solid pick for Friday night. Prediction over.
UMass versus West Virginia. This marks the 43rd meeting between these two schools, with the last matchup a high-scoring 87-79 victory for UMass as plus three underdogs. Both teams have come out strong this season, which promises an exciting matchup. Frank Martin's UMass squad made a five-win improvement last season, propelled by an electric start, and their performance on Monday suggests a similar start this year. That win over West Virginia last season was part of a stretch where the Minutemen scored 87 or more in five of their first eight games. Martin knows how to motivate his team, especially when facing power conference teams, and with this spread, UMass should be able to keep it close, if not pull off another upset. Prediction UMass to cover the spread. When these teams faced off last season, they combined for 166 points, easily hitting the over on a 148.5 point total. Both teams showed off offensive firepower in their season openers, shooting efficiently and controlling possession. After their first games, UMass was ranked 41st in tempo by Ken Palm, while West Virginia was 174th. UMass has a strong early season offensive rhythm, scoring 89 or more in three of four November games last year. Meanwhile, West Virginia's offense, guided by DeVries, has also been putting up impressive numbers early. Given the fast-paced nature of these teams, expect a high-scoring game. Prediction, over 153.5 points. UL Monroe versus Tulane. The Tulane Green Wave are the superior team in this matchup and should have no trouble dominating a lesser UL Monroe Warhawks squad. The biggest difference lies in the defensive play the Warhawks allowed 78.0 points per game last season, while the Green Wave held their opponent to just 42.0 points in their opening game. With Mari Jordan contributing 18 points and Caleb Banks grabbing 13 rebounds in the season opener, Tulane's offense and defense should be too much for UL Monroe. Expect Tulane to cover the spread and win by at least 10 points on their home court. Prediction, Tulane Green Wave minus 9.5 points. Both teams have shown they can score at a respectable level, with UL Monroe shooting 47.1% from the field and Tulane connecting on 41.7%. Each side has solid scoring threats, and that should continue here. However, the Warhawks' defensive struggles, allowing 78.0 points per game, including 61 against an inferior champion Christian squad, suggest that Tulane will have no problem putting up points. With both teams likely to push the pace, this game should see plenty of scoring. Prediction, over 152.5 points. Georgia State versus Mississippi State. The Georgia State Panthers are the underdogs in this matchup, but both teams displayed similar defensive levels in their opening games. The Panthers were impressive on the boards, grabbing 49 total rebounds, while Mississippi State only managed 34. With that rebounding edge and a potential to keep the game closer than expected, Georgia State should be able to cover the spread. Prediction, Georgia State Panthers plus 21.5 points. Mississippi State's impressive 55.4% shooting from the floor in their opener is unlikely to be replicated, especially against a stronger defense. Although the Bulldogs force 17 steals, their offense may struggle if they can't maintain that defensive intensity. Given the struggles of both teams to consistently score, the game is expected to go under the total. Prediction, under 149.5 points.